Hey there, welcome back to Flat Tire Farm. We're in our third video in this series about cream separating. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make butter from cream that we separated from some goat's milk. If you don't know, we live off-grid in Alaska, so I kinda of do it the off-grid style, but I'll explain as I go how you could do it the on-grid style too. Here's the first secret I learned about making butter from goat's cream. For some reason, it wants to sit in the fridge for a day for it to turn into butter. First time I tried to make it, I whipped it around in the KitchenAid for about an hour and it never did turn into butter. It just ended up going to the pigs. So I don't know if it's just my goats, but for me, I got to stick it in the fridge for a day. So I'll meet you back tomorrow in just a second. Okay, our cream has sat in the fridge for a day. We're ready to put it in the mixer. I just use my KitchenAid mixer with the whisk attachment. Put it in there. Lock it down. And I don't start it out slow, we just get it done. Um, and it makes a huge mess, there's just no way to avoid it. So, I cover it with a towel, <laughs> turn it on high, and I'll wait till it gets done. I'll show you as we go along how it separates and how it starts making into butter. So that only took about 30 seconds for it to look this thick, but don't be fooled, that cold goat's cream looks like this at the very beginning, but it's not butter yet, you gotta wait. Maybe don't follow my bad example here and stick utensils in the mixer while it's running, but I scrape the bowl down to make sure all of the contents gets mixed up. Okay, it's been about two and a half minutes and you can see that now the butter is turning almost into like a ricey type mixture. You can see all the little chunks in there. And if I'm quiet for just a moment, you'll hear the sloshing around. That's the butter sloshing around in the buttermilk that's been separated. Okay, now that we have the butter separated from the buttermilk, we are gonna strain the buttermilk out and save it. I just keep these little jars in the freezer and I store the buttermilk in there. And when I wanna use them for pancakes or biscuits, then I'll pull it out and let it thaw a little bit and use a little bit of it. The butter is really easy to handle at this point. Let me get this mixer out of the way. We're just gonna squish the butter together and it will clump all together. And I just pour the buttermilk in there Save it for later. Ooh, just enough in there. Okay, now this is where this is gonna differ between what you might do if you have on-grid power and running water, or me who lives off-grid without running water. If you have running water, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this big ball of butter, grab it all together, turn your cold tap water on as cold as it'll go, and you're gonna massage the butter underneath the running water because that cold water, one, is gonna help you not melt your butter down the drain, and two, that running water is gonna get all the rest of this buttermilk out of here, and it's the buttermilk that makes the butter not very stable and go bad pretty quickly. But I don't have running water, but I'll show you what I do. Now I wear plastic gloves or rubber gloves when I do this because it does two things for me. One, it helps keep the heat of my hands away from the butter, but also if you try to ever wash your hands covered in grease without hot running water, it's probably pretty difficult. <laughs> so at the end of this, I can chuck these gloves if I need to without having to figure out how to get water to run over my hands and hot water. <laughs> it pretty much will all come together like clay at this point. I'll get it out of here and show you. See, there we go. So I'm going to squish it together and I'm just going to dump it in this next bowl here. And now I'm just going to pour cold water in the bowl. And I'll bring you closer so you can see this part. Okay, then I just squish that butter. You can see the buttermilk is still trying to come out of it. This butter fat's all going to stick together, but the buttermilk is going to mix in with the water and make it cloudy. So now I mixed pretty good. I'm going to drain this liquid out and then add cold water again until the water becomes mostly clear. I'll do this about three times before the water is clear enough to make me happy. Now you need cold water to do this, so in the winter time this is easy for us because our water jugs just stay inside the cabin. We have seven gallon jugs that we run out of and it stays about 60 degrees in here. Now in the summer it's pretty difficult to get cold water, so what I'll do is I'll fill up a couple of pitchers of the room temperature water that we're storing in jugs and I'll just put some ice packs in it so that I'll have cold water to do this with. 
And we dump the water in there again. Okay, that's pretty good. Generally, I'm pretty close to the zero waste lady, but when you live off grid, sometimes you have to compromise things. And so today is one of those compromises. So now that I have squished all of this butter in the cold water, I've gotten some of the, of the water trapped inside the butter and I need to get that out. So I just take some paper towels You know, and this is where, I don't know, maybe you would use a butter muslin or something like that, but I don't have really the ability without ruining somebody's washing machine that isn't mine to, uh, to use uh, butter muslin and get it washed, not in any usable fashion. So pressing the water out of this, and I try, to, again, not to handle it too much because... My hands, the heat from my hands will melt this butter and then it melts into the fibers of the paper towel and then that's a bad deal. And I go until one of two things happen. Either it gets too soft and it starts sticking to the paper towels, which it is a little bit already, or until the paper towels don't get wet anymore when I keep flipping them over and pressing them. Yep, and so we're sticking a little bit, so I'm gonna call that good. Give me a second to pick this up and I'll show you what we do next. All right, now I just take me some plastic wrap and I take a little chunk, put it in there, and I use the plastic wrap to form the butter into what might be a usable portion, like a little stick or it's like a burrito. Sorry, lots of burritos. <laughs> I'll bring it close and show you. So that's what we got. That's, I don't know, pretty close to a stick of butter. I don't weigh it out, but you could if you wanted to. Because it's likely I'm not able to get all the buttermilk out because I don't have the cold running water, I store these in the freezer. And then when I need them for the next day or so, I'll pull them out. And they stay good, oh, I don't know, maybe a day or two or three in the fridge. I try not to um, push it further than that. All right, there we have it, butter. If you wanna watch the videos where originally we cream separated into skim and cream, or watch the video where I made farmer's cheese out of the skim milk, I'll link the playlist at the end. It's probably up there right now. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching.